Hello, good morning, friends. God, whoo hoo, he's amazing. Let's praise his name every day. Let's follow the truth. That's the top of this morning, guys. Yes, that's the top of this morning. Y'all, please turn to Exodus 21. One, first poll. First station. Uh, they do not pay old curly. It's all about Jesus. This is how to say that old curly. Little kitty. morning there, Philip P. Good morning to you, brother. God bless you. Thank you for all you do, man. I post some what I post on Facebook, put on Instagram, YouTube, TikTok. God's powerful. His word is powerful. We need to follow his word. Guys and gals, this morning, let's follow the truth. In Exodus 21, 1. Now these are the judgments which thou hast, thou shalt set before them. Now these are the judgments which thou shalt Set before them. When he, he, he's given us, Moses spoke, God spoke through Moses to us, give us these commandments, guys. He wrote them down on tablets. We need to follow his commandments, guys and gals. Let's follow the truth. And please pray with me. Dear Lord Jesus, help us all follow your rules, Lord. And not trying to break your rules. Help us, Jesus. Dig in and try not to sin. Follow your word, Lord. Your word was, is what's going to last forever. Does the grass wither, the flower fadeth, but the word of our God shall stand forever. As you say in Isaiah 48, Lord, help us all understand that heavens and earth shall pass away, but your words, your words shall not pass away. As you say in Matthew 24, 30, 35, Lord, help us all. Guide us all, direct us all. Help the boys this morning, whatever they plan on doing, Lord. As they're sleeping right now, Lord, please get them up and let them understand that you're the one who woke them up. Help them understand that you're the one in control, Lord. Help this whole world to understand that you are the one in control. You're the one who wakes us up. You give us this fresh air to breathe. This house to live in. This 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 roof above our head. This this food to eat. Lord, it's all in your hands. You are the provider. You are the sustainer. You are the deliverer. Deliver us all from evil, Lord. Help us not let that devil kill, steal, and destroy our minds, our, our lives, our, our our souls. Help us all surrender our life to you, Lord, and get saved by your grace through faith, which is not of ourselves, which is a gift from God, not of works, but any man should boast, as you say in Ephesians 2, 8 through 9. Help us all, guide us all, direct us all, keep us all safe this morning, Lord. Please, Jesus, help me hear as I preach. In your precious holy name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. All right, guys and gears, polls. I'm going to see. Please keep praying for this, this job situation. <laughs> but long suffering, right? We got to be patient. We got to be patient. That's part of the fruit of the Spirit the joy, love, peace, faithfulness, gentleness, goodness. Meanness, long suffering, temperance against such there is no law. We need to celebrate the Lord every single day of our lives. Lord Jesus Christ is in control. Let's please pray. Pray, folks, pray. I see that as the only way. We need to live for Jesus. He is the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh to the Father but by me, as he says in John fourteen six. But the first point this morning, we have rules to follow. We have rules to follow. We go to number twelve, Exodus twenty one twelve. He that smiteth a man so that he die shall be surely put to death. He that smiteth, he, if you hurt somebody, he that smiteth a man so that he die shall be purely, shall, shall be surely put to death. So we gotta be strong. We gotta love our neighbors as ourselves, guys. We gotta love our neighbors as we're gonna go around, go around the Bible a lot this morning. I got a lot of scripture in the top of my mind that I'm gonna mention. Matthew 22, 37 through 39. Be turning that with me. Twenty-two, thirty-seven through thirty-nine. We are to love our God. Jesus said unto them, "Thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart, with all thy soul, and with all thy mind." This is the first and great commandment, and the second is like this unto it. The second is like unto it: Thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. I love all y'all. I want y'all to know the truth. That's why I preach daily because we must know the truth, and with the truth. Make us free. We must know the truth and let the truth make us free. So let's follow, guys and gals, or else. Let's follow, or else. We're gonna keep hold, hold there and exit this. We're gonna go to 15 through 17. 
And he that smiteth his father or his mother shall be, shall be surely put to death. And he that stilleth a man or selleth him, or if he be found in his hand, he shall surely be put to death. And he that curses his father or his mother shall surely be put to death. So let's follow or else, guys. Let's follow or else, because what is our life? Our life is even as a vapor that appeareth for a little time, but then vanisheth away. We need Jesus, guys. Yeah, we need Jesus. Do you want to follow a lie or follow the truth? You know, please turn to John 8, 34. 844 with me. 844. John 844, we gotta seek the Lord in his strength, seek his face continually. Then we're gonna go to James right after we read this one. Before, here we go. Because if you're not following the Lord, you're following the devil. Because you are a father. Ye are of your father, the devil, and the lust of your father ye will do. He was a murderer from the beginning, and abide not in the truth, because there is no truth in him. When he speaketh a lie, he speaketh of his own, for he is a liar and the father of it. So do we want to follow a lie, or do we want to follow the truth? Now we'll go to Revelations. Revelations. Now first, first we'll go to James. We're right here. We'll go to James first, then Revelations. Because we don't need to be, we need to stop sinning on purpose, guys and gals. We need to stop sinning on purpose. If we sin on purpose, guess what's going to happen? Guess what's going to happen? We sin, we sin, and we think it's funny. No, we need to, we need to seek the Lord in strength, seek His face continually. It says like a first, first Chronicles sixteen eleven. We're going to go to uh, James one fourteen through fifteen. But every man is tempted when he is drawn away of his own lust and enticed. And when lust hath conceived, it bringeth forth sin. And sin, when it is finished, it bringeth forth death. When you stop living for the world and this ungodly, sinful, temporary world, when you live with Jesus, guys, when you stop sinning on purpose, when you be strong and of good courage, and be not afraid, neither be thou dismayed, for the Lord thy God is with thee, whithersoever thou goest. As it says so back in, the, in Joshua 1 9. And, and as I read yesterday, Deuteronomy 31 31 6, we'll read this one more time. Not that long to get there, want you to know your Bible. Be strong and of good courage. Fear not, nor be afraid of them. For the Lord thy God, he is it that I'll go with thee. He will not fail thee, nor forsake thee. We need to live for Jesus, God. Yeah, we need to live for Jesus. Now we're going to go to Revelation 21 8. We need to live for Jesus. Because if we don't live for Jesus, guess what's going to happen? Guess what's going to happen? 21 8. It says right here. But the fearful, if you're, if you're living for the world, you're going to be fearful and unbelieving. And the abominable and the murderers, but the fearful them and unbelieving the abominable and the murderers and whoremongers and sorcerers and idolaters and all liars shall have their part in the lake which burneth with fire and brimstone, which is the second death. We don't want to die the second time. We want to die one time and go on to heaven and live with Jesus, guys. We don't need to be going to hell and then burn eternally forever and ever. We need to live, live for Jesus. He's the way, the truth, and the life. No man comes to the Father. But by me, as it says, John 46, I mentioned just a little earlier. Here, I'll pause one more second before the, uh, for the last point, okay? Because our lives are equal, guys. You know, please turn back to Exodus. I hope y'all held y'all's place there. And we need to stop living for the, living for the devil and his lies in this world. We need to live for Jesus, guys, you guys. That's our lives are equal, 23 through 35. 23 through 35. Because we need to stop. Stop <clears throat> so living for the world. And if any man mischief follow, then thou shalt give life for life, eye for eye, tooth for tooth, hand for hand, foot for foot, burning for burning, wound for wound, stripe for stripe. Okay? We need to live for. Because his stripes. Well, that stripes. Good Isaiah. Isaiah. 53, 53, 5, 53, 5. We need to live for, for Jesus because we are healed. Why, why are we healed? I'm about to tell you right now. 53, 5. But he was wounded for our transgression. He was bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace was upon him. And with his stripes, with his stripes, we are healed, guys and guys. We are healed by the stripes. So let's follow the truth. Let's follow the truth in our lives, okay? Because right here it says, follow me and I will make you fishers 
of man. It says like a Matthew 4, 19. So let's get out there and tell people about Jesus. Let's fish people that are, that are, that are lost in the sea. Let's let them know about Jesus and that they can be saved by His grace through faith, as I was mentioning just a little earlier. Because in Proverbs 1, 5, it says right here, And a wise man, we need to be wise, guys. Be not, be not wise in their own eyes. Fear the Lord and depart from evil. Fear the, that's Proverbs 3, 5. 3, 3, 3, 5. I mean, fear the Lord and depart from evil because fear in the Lord is reverencing Him, respecting Him. Let's live for Jesus, guys. Let's live for Jesus. Because a wise man will hear and will increase learning. And a man of understanding shall obtain unto wise counsel. So let's get around them folks out there that are trying to bring us up, not not put us down. Let's get around those folks out there that are trying to talk about the Lord, not to talk about evil, sinful, negativity, evil, sinful, temporary stuff. This this stuff on this world is not going to last forever. But that that's not. Why look at that, the things that are seen? For the things which are seen are temporal. For the things which are not seen are eternal. And that's Jesus Christ in heaven. That's the Second Corinthians four eighteen. Please look it all up, write it off because. Let's follow the truth, guys. Yeah, it's not lies. Let's follow not the devil's lies. He is a liar, he is a liar and the father of it. So let's follow the truth because the devil is a liar. Y'all please pray with me. Dear Lord Jesus, help us all follow your truth, Lord. Help us to read it, learn it, love it, live it, and share it, Lord. Help us to dig in, try not to sin every single day of our lives, Lord. Help us follow your truth as this world's trying to get rid of you, Lord. Get rid of the thought of Jesus Christ. They're trying to do it all on their own. But, Lord, we can't we can't get to heaven without you, Lord. Help everybody get saved by your grace through faith, Lord Jesus. Stop listening to all these lies of the devil. Please, Jesus, guide us all, direct us all, keep us all safe this morning. Thank you so much. In your precious holy name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. All right, guys. Yeah, we're going to go. We're singing a song about the old devil because we got to stop fearing the devil because fear, uh, he is a liar. He will take your breath, uh, stop you in your steps. Uh, fear, uh, he is a liar. He will rob your rest, uh, steal your happiness, cast your fear in the fire. Because fear, uh, he is a liar. And stop listening to all them lies, guys. We live for Jesus. Because Jesus is the Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the ending, which was and which is and which is to come. The Almighty. Are you ready, my friends? Are you ready for Him to come? He can come down the clouds any moment now. No one knows the day and the hour of His return. The day of the Lord is going to come as a thief in the night. That's Matthew 24, 36. First Thessalonians 5, 2. Please write it all down. Look it back up later. Write it on your wall. Praise the Lord, guys. He is in control. We need to stop getting away from his word when he lived for his word it's what's going to last forever well god bless y'all thank you for tuning in this morning Hello,